welcome back to the channel. Now, if her voice seems a little bit off, it's because uh, in an incredibly kind gesture, my wife decided to give me her cold. So uh, we will struggle through, but I'm sure we'll be fine. Right, I have a daughter with a birthday coming up and she's very much into uh, kind of Japanese culture and movies and anime and things like that. So what she said she would like is a small Japanese style soup bowl. So we are going to make a shiruwan, which basically means soup bowl. Uh, this kind of bowl is ideally made for noodles, soup and miso soup, which I've heard of before, but I'm not quite sure exactly what it is. I really should look into it. Uh, now the piece I would have chosen for this is a very, very beautiful piece of black walnut. So first thing to do is find the centre. I think we've already got a mark there ready. Uh, we're going to mount it with a worm screw and then start turning. With a small blank like this, there's no real need for us to use as tailstock support. So I shall get sharpened up and we shall make a start. Right, the style of bowl we're going for, as I say, it's a, uh, a Shuri Wan bowl, which has very much of a semi elliptical shape with a foot. So very important that we don't take too much of the side away around this area so we can get a nice foot in there and uh, we leave a big enough gap in this middle here to grab with our jaws okay we're all sharpened up so we'll square off the bottom first and then start working into the sides Let's get it nice and round. That's looking over fantastic already. Right, get our pencil out. We're gonna mark up on the base where our foot's gonna be for this bowl. Because that's one of the most crucial kind of design elements of this style. Right, that's gonna be the extent of our foot. Inside, actually the outside will make it a little bit wider, so. We have something to grip against. Right, I'm not gonna do that yet, but I just need this outside measurement here so I can start working in the design of the side and the shape. That's looking pretty nice. That's pretty close to the shape you want. Slightly more of a curve here on this little bit, but I'll worry about that in a second. I'm just going to quickly sharpen up again and put a few finishing cuts on this outside. We haven't got much end grain issues, well, hardly any, but uh, I want a few nice, really sharp cuts just to make this as easy as possible to finish.
Okay, that's the shape. Pretty much done. Still could do a bit a little bit of refining on that surface. Uh, but I'm just gonna put the mark on now for the for the internal of the foot. the start of the sanding but then as ever I'll bring you back when it's all done right I'm just going to go on with a quick bit of isopropyl just to Clean out the pores of the wood. And we'll put a finish on. This American black walnut really is quite, uh, quite special. I've had this blank for a long time. I'm just not quite finding the right project for it. But when your daughter asks you for, for something nice then yeah, fair enough, that's a good enough project. Right, we'll let that evaporate. Okay, now normally I'll put on a sealer and everything else onto this, but I don't know what it's going to be used for. So I'm going to keep it as food safe as possible. So we're going to reuse the beeswax and oil finish I made up for the shot glasses a few episodes ago. I'll put a link on the screen now if you want to go and Take a look at that one. So this is a completely food safe finish. And it also waterproofs it as well. Right, I'm going to buff this in on the wheel. And I might give it a second coat after that. I'll see how it looks. This isn't going to be a high gloss finish. It's going to be a nice uh, matte, but silky kind of finish. Okay, that looks absolutely beautiful. I think I'll just give it one quick more coat. I'm not sure it needs it, but it's just going to help the longevity of the wood. I'll bring you back when this is done and I've turned it around. There's no point in making you watch the same thing twice. So I'll see you in a second when I've turned it around. Right, we're back on the lathe. Uh, I made a slight mistake. I didn't quite allow enough room inside here uh, for the jaws to grip onto. So I had to put it back on and turn it out a little bit further. We should still be okay, but I'm just still getting used to the, everything being larger. I thought I still had my old jaws, in which case it would have been fine, but uh, it wasn't. So anyway, we're fine now and we'll start to hollow it. Let's go and sharpen up again.
I know we're not anywhere near the, the bottom yet, but I just wanted to a little bit of reassurance exactly where I am. Okay. I am taking this very carefully because I am holding it onto uh, a piece of wood, uh, just a few mil thick. So I can't afford to go at this old guns blaring. Just taking my time. It's a bit tight in there to get the ball gouge in. So I'm just gonna get a carbide in just to smooth up the surface before I put the scraper in. Cool, right. I'll start sanding. You can watch the start, and I'll bring you back when it's done. Touch gets covered with sand, with sawdust. Right, I'm going to get some isopropyl, give this a good old clean down, including me, and then we'll put a finish on this. Right, I'll let that evaporate. Right, that's a good time to dry. So we'll put a couple of layers of this finish on again. Take a close look at this thing. Right, I want to put another coating of this on, give it another buffing, and then we'll take a close look at the finished Shiri Wan bowl. Right, there we have it. A black walnut shiruwan bowl for my daughter's birthday. It's been a lot of fun to make. It's not a particularly complicated project. The lines are nice and simple, but it's just such a, got such a kind of charm about it, which, uh, which I absolutely love. I might try and make some more of these. Right, well, I managed to get through to the end without coughing and spluttering over everything, so. Uh, I'm sorry if it has put you off in any way. Uh, I'm going to try and get a video out again for the end of the week, but if the cold progresses as it had with my wife, then it kind of knocked her sideways. So I'll do my best to get another one out, but if I don't, please don't hold it against me. I'll be coughing and spluttering and doing lots of other things. But anyway, if you've hopefully enjoyed this episode, if you have, please feel free to hit the like and subscribe button. Uh, and if you leave a comment as well, then you're going to be entered into the giveaway uh, when we get to our one year anniversary, which is on the 16th of March. But apart from that, thank you very much indeed for watching. See you next time.